Hello! So the moon is in Leo. Ah, this, as always, there are gifts and challenges. So we'll cover a little bit of the challenges first because I think that there are some pitfalls here that we need to avoid. And then if we get through those challenges, we can enjoy the incredible, bountiful positivity and optimism and fun and playfulness and good feelings and creativity and expression that that we have on offer here. So we'll, we'll get into that in just a little bit. I think, again, the big challenge here is we have moon square sun. We're now in the third quarter lunar phase. We have one more week before the new moon. And um, whenever there's this kind of tension with the sun and the moon being square each other, there it, it can be a little edgy, a little difficult in, in certain ways. There's also a lot of positivity, a lot of possibility, a lot of opportunities as per, but I think, okay, so what is this about? This is about emotions. This is about understanding where we're coming from, understanding where other people are coming from. And I feel like overall, there's a really great opportunity here to be able to unite the more introverted and extroverted emotional, it's hard to put that into words, but the, the two sides of our emotions essentially as individuals, as well as to unite with other people as well, especially since we have Venus and Sagittarius and the moon and Leo. There's a lot of good opportunity here over the next couple of days. So really like over the next 48 hours um, to be able to, to feel really in connection and excited about life and to communicate that with others and to, to build with them. The big challenge here is we're still at that kind of transition period where okay the sun is in scorpio cool that's moved forward mars is not mars is in libra and mars rules scorpio so there's again and mars is conjunct sun so we have all this energy it's like we talked about in the last transit reading um, and i think in certain ways it's really good to focus on this because of this square with the moon and the sun we have all this energy but we might we really have to be disciplined. We have to be very disciplined in how we utilize it and how we express our emotions because it can be very easy, especially since we have a grand cross right now of Uranus and Taurus, Saturn and Aquarius, opposite the moon and Leo. Uh, for the next 24 hours especially, it's really good to keep in mind any kind of feeling caged in or feeling resentful, feeling frustrated. Breathe through it. It's just a phase. And... Um, we can make progress with that kind of feeling, with that kind of situation, but ultimately it, that's probably more of a long-term situation that we're dealing with, with Saturn. And uh, it's, it's just something that we have to be patient with and not blow up now because I can really come back to bite us in the ass later uh, or immediately even, <laughs> uh, especially since all these emotions are very, very intense. Uh, everybody's gonna be going through some kind of feeling like I'm close, but I'm not there yet. Again, like we talked about before, October is really this month. That it's like a pivoting month. And even where we are right now in the last, like, basically since the last mm, two weeks, maybe week and a half of October, and where we are obviously right now as well, is we're coasting back into getting into the groove of things. So for October, everybody was like, ah, I'm not sure. Should I do this? Should I do that? I'm not. Uh. And we're starting to get to that place where it's like, cool, we're back in the groove, we're moving forward, we're getting stuff done, awesome. But we're not there yet. So it's really important to keep that in mind, especially since, again, we have this kind of like false flag with Mars being conjunct Sun. It's like, oh, energy, Sun's in Scorpio, I'm ready. But Mars is in Libra, it's not there yet. So again, on the 30th, October 30th, just like a couple days from now, Mars will join in Scorpio. It's still good to be patient with this. It won't be until November 2nd that the Mercury shadow period, retrograde shadow period is gonna be over. So. That first week of November, we're going to be seeing, so it's like we're here, the first week of November, we're going to be seeing, whoa, okay, moving forward, cool. Like, we're going to be seeing a lot more action. Until that time, we really have to be mindful of patience, of not being passive aggressive, not blowing up emotionally. I think the big thing is really over the next 24 hours, because again, moon opposite Saturn, it's activating that grand cross, and that, that is a, that's a challenging kind of check. Now on the positive side, it's a good reality check of what's working, what do I feel good about, what do I not feel good about, what needs work on. You know, that can be a, a really helpful thing, of course, but I think a lot of people are going to be feeling that there's a lot of tension with that grand cross, but that tension can be beautiful for being able to move forward too and being able to grow. I think what's really cool is we're activating the other part of this grand cross. It's not quite down to the, the degrees, but still it's, it's, it's still a grand cross. Um, past this next 24 hours, so essentially like 
for the 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 first part of Saturday, even the la like later parts of, of Friday, we are experiencing Moon opposite Jupiter, and this is still a grand cross. But I think basically over the next twenty four hours, if we just keep our cool and not and also not implode internally emotionally like again we have a choice always like okay reality check this isn't going so well what do i need to do to, to fix it you know if we just focus on this isn't going so well oh i feel terrible oh my self-confidence oh you know it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> no, no 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 we never need to be we never need to be imploding nor exploding <laughs> you know want to be somewhere in between when things are just cool you know even when we're handling big challenging things so um, I think if we just get through this next 24 hours and keep our, our mindsets positive and cheerful and focus on what we can do rather than what we can't do because for everybody we're still in that kind of like not quite where we want to be yet with certain things in our lives. Um, when, that, that, when Moon is opposite Jupiter, that's going to be really beautiful and that opens up opportunities. But it's only going to really open up opportunities for people who over the next 24 hours, one, is very diligent. You know, that's essential too. But two, keeps their, their mindset, their heart set strong and, and just recognizing um, without trying to hurt their own emotions what it is that they need to focus on, what what's also what's going good and what needs to be grown in that way. And again, I just want to say one last thing, you know, for the next couple of days, the moon's in Leo and we have Venus in Sagittarius. So again, if we just work through these little pitfalls of impatience and emotional stress uh, and or emotional explosion, then we can really have a really lovely time and and be able to channel all of this wonderful emotional energy. We're shifting largely, just like we talked about with uh, a couple of weeks ago, really for almost all of October, we had so much air energy, like a ton of air energy. And I again, I have a lot of air energy. It's not, it really doesn't matter whether we have a lot of an element or not. When it's such a preponderance, such a so when there's so much of something, it's just a lot to deal with. So it's nice that we're shifting into this more subjective place, whereas before we were so focused on the mind that could have gotten quite anxiety focused or you know challenging in that respect, dealing with abstracts instead of dealing with the practical realities. Um, so October is shifting into this beautiful place where we're more connected with our emotions. And um, there's a lot more of that to come. And there's a lot of good, of course, course there's there's a lot of good with everything but there's a lot of good to come from building on what we were so fixated on thinking about all the time mentally to being able to translate that into good healthy emotional understanding insight and action oh i forgot to mention as always i'm doing readings in the about section or what's that called the description section is uh, info of how to get into contact with me and the different kind of readings I offer infinite love to you my friends namaste Peace.